Okay, yeah, so we can kind of just... Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. We can one-shot, except we're, like, almost dead here. Okay, okay. Okay. Charm. This is a freaking powerful attack, though. Okay. Hello everyone, Time to Grind here, and today I wanted to play Dandy Ace, and it is an upcoming action roguelite uh, that seems super, super interesting. It almost looks a little bit like Hades and stuff like that, but you're playing as magicians. Um, and so I just wanted to jump into it. I tried a tiny bit of it just to kind of get a hang of the controls, but overall, uh, I wanted to just kind of give you guys my first impressions of the game. And uh, before we jump in, I just want to let you guys know that I was given a uh, review copy of the game in order to make Let's Plays and Reviews for you. Um, so, you know, just like staying transparent, but let's just jump into it. Overall, first thing I have to say is it is really, really stylized. And there was an animation where uh, this green guy right here, uh, he kind of like, we kind of defamed him a little bit. We became more popular than him. So he became evil and trapped us in a cursed world. And that's kind of the only thing that you're missing. So, oh my, can I trust my eyes? Is that the legendary ma magician Dandy Ace? Seem familiar. Can you tell me where I am? Oh, we got voice acting. Okay, well, I'll just let them do it. I am definitely not familiar. <laughs> So this is the guy that we, um, that, that, that he's the one that trapped us in the, you know, evil mirror world or whatever this is. What's his name again? A great magician, yes. Lele, the green and he's Lele, the green-eyed illusionist. I believe he built this ever-changing palace just to defeat you. Lele. And we are Dandy Ace, obviously. Think harder. He's pretty famous. How do I leave this place, old-timer? I got smiles to collect, magic tricks to perfect. You're either the ace or you're not. You're either you're either the ace or you're not, guys. Two greatest magicians of all time in a duel. How exciting! You'll have to defeat him in order to leave this place. Oh, he's waiting for you deep inside the palace. Luckily, when you fell through the cursed mirror, your magical cards came with you. Rule of the ace number twenty-eight. Never leave home without your cards. You'll find more cards as you progress through the palace. <laughs> You're lucky to have. I don't think he's our ally. So okay, so yeah, it seems like it's card-based thing. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, pick up this. That gives us a dash, which I'm assuming makes us invincible for a little bit. Uh, throws five magical cards. Uh, charges determines the number of activations a skill has before entering on cooldown. So that just throws cards here. Oh, so we can do five before I have to let them all charge up. Uh, pack a trick, drops explosive cards when in contact with enemies, adds death bomb. When an affected enemy dies, it damages nearby his enemies. So that's, I guess we got some mines and stuff like that. So let's just jump into this here. Oh, geez. Okay, so... Oh, okay, we got... I guess we might as well heal a little bit. So right off the bat, um... The combat is a little bit looser than, um... than like other action roguelites that I've played and that's not oh I just I just ate that that's not necessarily the uh, the worst thing in the world um, it's just I think it's probably because like I have these magic you know card abilities and stuff like that but let's see here oh we can go to two different places I guess I don't really know travel between portals I must get the spades keys Travel between portals. What? What? Oh, so teleporting, you can just teleport to other portals. Okay. So we probably just want to like jump in, get the mines down as soon as we can. And then we kind of just have to, oh geez, let our main attack charge up. We don't have like a basic attack or anything. I mean, I guess this is technically a basic attack, but it just has a charge that we can't kind of have to wait. Oh, here we go. Uh, Bubble Trouble Tier 2, Ace shoots a big bubble. The longer he holds the shot, the faster it moves. Bubble Trouble always spawns Bubble Cluster. Adds Bubble Cluster on hitting an enemy. It spawns a cluster. So I guess that is our B here. Oh, and we can, like, charge it up. How many charges does it have? Oh, we can just keep doing that. Okay. 
Uh, blueprint bl binding chains. Don't know what that is. That's probably some out of pro game progression stuff. Um, shop for a bunch of cards. Unlock Niftar when you visit his tent. Um, was there something down here? No keys for you. Only okay, so it's I, I get it. I get it. You have the spades key. You got the clubs key. I see. I see what you're doing here. Oh. Okay. Oh, jeez. Okay. The bubble is... Oh, man. Okay. We're... We're not doing as great. <laughs> as great... Ah! Great... Oh, okay. I gotta, I gotta get good, guys. I gotta get good. Oh, nice. That just... Let's do a lot of damage. Um... So there's another teleporter. What's over here? It's like a treasure room. Ooh, toxic spray. Uh, Ace creates a poisonous cloud. Adds poison. Upgrade affects damage. Is only affected by the main cards tier. So is that a... Wait, hold to skip. Oh, it was an upgrade of... Oh. Oh. Oh, we can upgrade it on any card here. How do we know it's an upgrade? Switch equip. Huh. Okay, like, so what happens if we put it here? It doesn't seem like it's... Five of a kind upgrade effect... Poison. Oh, oh, okay. So I think we, we just turn these poisonous. So we'll see how these look. Oh, okay, there we go. Yeah. No, that is what happened. Oh, geez. We're like about to die here, honestly. We have 16 health. Okay. There we go. Cupcake. Nice. Okay, so our main attack is going to poison them. Okay. Okay, I, I, I get it. The diamond keys. Um, okay, we haven't gone here. Okay, yeah. So we probably, yeah, definitely need to be placing. Oh, geez. Okay, 82 health. Oh man. Okay, we're not we're not doing so good, guys. But it's okay. How bad? Okay, let's see. Oh, that poison's not half bad, honestly. Oh, geez. Okay, was not expecting more. And it seems like I can, just the more I put on. The more poison, oh that stacks, that poison stacks. Oh. Okay, so dazzling tier. So does that mean it's it has to be in my Y? Ace cast a bright cone of dazzling light, uh, stuns them. Uh, adds stuns to yellow and pink cards. So if I pick, oh. How do I? So, oh, wait, 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 can I, s oh, oh, so what happened, oh, most upgrade effects that increase damage have specific conditions to do so, always check your build to guarantee that you can meet these conditions, prey seeker, stunned enemies take more damage, oh, so like that's saying stunned enemies, so you need it to be a stun of some sort, well, do I have, I don't think I have any stun cards here, so how do I like make it like we're like this instead of the mines we're gonna do stuns here. Okay, so now instead of the mines we're gonna do a bright cone of dazzling light to stun them, and if they die because we have that, it's going to be a uh, bunch of damage there. Got some blueprints. We are at twenty three health, so um, fire, fire. Don't let him through. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not the most confident here, but, uh... So when they die, they blow up there. Oh man, okay, almost died there. Trying to be real careful here. Oh nice, we got a cupcake, let's go pick that up. The cupcake's not for me, why, it's, why is it dropping, huh? Okay, 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 I think we're getting the hang of this a little bit. I think we're getting the hang of this.
I think we're getting the hang of this. So we're just gonna instantly like stun lock someone. Just try to put. Oh, oh crap. Okay, we got. Oh, oh my gosh. We got cornered there. We got cornered there pretty, pretty big. Okay. So is there some out of grand progression? Because we got some blueprints and stuff like that. Well, hello again. Are you surprised? I'm back to the beginning. It's called the ever changing palace for a reason. Every time you are defeated. You will restart here and the palace will rebuild. Okay, yeah, I know I know how roguelites work. That means I'm trapped here. The only way out is to defeat Lele. He's waiting for you in the throne room. Deep inside the palace. I'll help get you there however I can. Good luck. I don't believe that. So Oh, here we go. Pal oh. View your progression. So, all the blueprints we got, I guess? I'm sure we'll find out something later, or we gotta just do better, so. We'll pick up our normal cards here. Okay, but now that we... I'm pretty sure we can, we can figure this out here. Okay. I like the kind of whole like card theming thing and the upgrading and stuff like that. It seems real interesting. What I'm very curious though is what the out of game progression looks like. Cause I know it's there. I do know it's like a roguelite and not like a, um, there's another blueprint. Oh geez. And not like a roguelike. So I know that there's like permanent, you know, out of game progression type stuff. So that's what I'm really curious about here. Also, I don't know why, but this reminds me of... Oh, jeez. This reminds me almost like of an older, like, um... I don't know, like, older PlayStation games I used to play where, like, the, uh... The main villain's constantly talking and taunting you and stuff like that. So here we go. Ace shoots a comet that explodes on a large area. And we charm people, and we add death charm to something. So what is charm? When an effective enemy dies, it spreads charm. Oh, okay. Charmed enemies move towards ace and can't attack. Um. Oh, we could just get that on B. Okay, yeah. We probably, if we can have things on separate cooldowns, I'm assuming that that's kind of what we want. Why not fight hand to hand for a little? Only a fool trusts his life to his card. Okay, gotta. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. Okay, those mines are pretty good, especially with how much enemies is kind of spawning here. I was kind of hoping Charmed would uh, deal damage, or not deal damage, but like they would fight their teammates and stuff, but that's a whole nother level of power, so don't we don't have the spades key. Okay, yeah, we just got to kind of space ourselves. Oh man, get out, no, no, okay, oh, charming. Okay, charming's really good. Especially if they're close. We're doing a lot better now. I mean, obviously, like, we're kind of learning. Uh, ooh, blinks forward, adds dimensional burst on activating this skill, ace damages nearby enemies. So I can dash, but what happens if we switch these out here? So now we'll blink and then we become faster. I think that's better, quite honestly. Because I feel like that will be a lot better, uh, more effective at killing enemies here. Or not killing enemies, but at uh, blocking. Because obviously if we were trying to kill the enemies with it, we would do it the other way. But Cupcake, don't even need that. Oh, jeez. Oh, man, okay. Oh, jeez. Okay, well, hey, now we actually have a use for the Cupcake. The uh, the cupcake or not the cupcakes the um, the way they spawn is a little sudden. I'm sure I'll kind of like get used to it. Um, that is something that I'm not like the biggest biggest fan of is when games do 
the like constant waves of enemies in rooms. Like I would rather know what's there. Nope. It's not gonna help. Okay. Oh, here's the um thing. So add stun to yellow and blue cards, adds prey seeker. Prey seeker to pink cards. Prey seeker's stunned enemies take more damage from Ace's skill. So I think we're gonna go ahead and actually upgrade this. We're gonna do it on here, so our mines will actually stun people. I think that's the play. Because we're using the mines as a spacing tool anyways, right? So like, oh, we, we just destroyed them. Also, big question is, do cupcakes, do cupcakes stay or do they despawn? That is the, uh, the biggest question that humanity has yet to answer. I love just spawning all the mines on him. Okay, yeah, let's let's see if we can teleport, if we can see. Oh, there is a, oh, you could just teleport to cupcakes too. Oh, that's cool, okay. Okay, I like that. I like that a lot. Oh, geez. Like it spawned right on us. Okay, okay, now that I'm starting to kind of get the hang of this, I'm kind of appreciating the uh, fluidity, maybe if that's a word, of the uh, the combat. Like, it's it's hard to explain. It's it's a lot less, um, like, solid and tight than, like, Hades as an example. But, it like, that's not a bad thing. Um, I know, you know, normally, like, it's, it's a compliment when you say a game has, like, tight gameplay, but, like, it's loose, but in a good way. I don't know. I'll have to, to play more and kind of, you know, fully see. Also, what are the character, what are the enemy designs in this game? Like, it's kind of cool just being able to spam all of that. Ooh, shoots a powerful arrow. Uh, we charm. It'll charm people and adds charm to yellow cards, adds broken hearts to pink cards. Broken hearts is charmed enemies take more damage. Okay, so let's adds charm. Hmm. Charmed enemies take more damage. Yeah, maybe we put this on the purple one. So we're gonna charm them with the passion comet, and then we'll, you know, our maiden attack will uh will do better. It's the banquet hall. Yeah, screw it. I could have done the same. I'm sure that there were a couple more rooms, but I wanna see. You know how far that the game goes or not not how far the game goes but how far we can go in the game mr ace i finally found you i like that there's voice acting and the voice acting is actually pretty decent jolly jolly are you hurt it's not like the best in the world but i think it's it's very solid mr. the day i get hurt falling through a cursed mirror is the day i won't make our show happen and i guess these are my assistants and that's never if you didn't catch that thanks for always making the show happen jolly jolly you're very late, Mr. Ace. While you were moseying around, I was getting some field research done. My dear, a magician is this is where a progression done. comes in? I wasn't taking any longer to get here than what was strictly necessary. To be dazzling and splendid. I know, mister. Perfection. I, I actually really like the voice actor of the, uh, the lady here. No surprise there, right? So listen to me on this. When you defeat enemies, some of them will drop shards from the cursed mirror. So yeah, we've gotten some of the shards so far. I should be wearing thicker gloves. When you bring them to me, I can unlock useful items for you. Oh, and by the way, the cards and trinkets you found last time are now gone. Blueprints you found, those you can keep. Bring me shards and blueprints and I'll help Oh, so you even if we die and we don't bring her the blueprints, you we don't it? lose them. So let's see here. So the only permanent unlock, oh, okay, so here's the blueprints here that we got. Um, Ace attacks with mystical chains, bind three seconds, adds bind to yellow cards. And then these are the permanent upgrades. Unlocks a tea potion that can be used at any time. Tea potions heal 375. Oh, oh, okay, I thought I was like, had to do multiple of that. So we got that. The starting pink card is randomly drawn from your unlocked cards, ooh. You got gold credit one, grants 250 gold at the each start of each turn, allows Ace to sell cards. Um, 
I don't know. Let's... I actually really want, like, a random pink card. So let's... We're gonna go ahead and spend them all, because I'm assuming, you know, if we die, we lose the magical things. Um, heal HP and replenish your tea potions. Where are my tea... Okay, tea potions LB. If I ever run into that limp so that's that. What is this? Thank goodness, Mr. A. This is my other assistant. I never thought I'd see you again. Have I ever made it to stay Jenny later than right on time, Jenny Jenny? You never disappoint us, Mr. Ace. Did you see that awesome tent my sister made for me? Jolly Jolly really found the time to build you this? I know, right? She's always so How long have they been here? I feel when like I'm really done crying. The tent was already up and standing. I'm just glad to see you girls okay in such a weird place. You two are the best assistants a magician could have. Okay, yes, they're definitely my assistants. And you're the greatest magician of all time, no matter what the green-eyed evil man said. So, what kind of goodies do you have in that tent? I'm. My guess is these are passives. Your trinkets. Talk to me, and I'll help you equip the ones you want. Superb. I would like to equip all of them. <laughs> Ooh, not possible. But you can equip one or two at a time, and sometimes three. That's it. But I have so many trinkets. I'm not sure why, Mr. Ace. Could be the magic. Oh, that it's the magic that that's not allowing us. I'm not sure. Who knows? <laughs> Could be a simple design choice. Okay. Okay. I gotta say, I I that was some that was some good humor here. So we already okay, we already get a lot of trinkets here. Um so trinkets to equip, we can only equip one. So let's look at these. Discharge choose after 10 seconds without taking damage, Ace's main cards deal 80 more damage. The damage increases as Ace progresses through the palace. That's really good. Uh, when Ace loses HP, his main cards deal 153 more damage for 10 seconds. Damage increases as Ace progresses through the palace. Oh, so they all progress. Okay, that's cool. So they get stronger and stronger. I like that. After killing an enemy, uh, cards deal 80 more damage for five seconds. Or Ace takes less damage from melee attacks. On killing blow, Ace remains at 1 HP and gains a vulnerability. This effect resets when Ace kills 100 enemies. Ace tech takes 15 less damage from range attacks. After 5 seconds without taking damage, Ace's speed increases by 15%. Ace gains a new T potion per map. T potions heal 30% less. Honestly, let's... Every time we kill an enemy, we gain 80 damage. Protagonist fists. Return all trinkets $100. Huh, okay. So I don't know how the money is necessarily involved in that. So we're at the banquet hall. And I yeah, I wonder... Those keys are very interesting because it's kind of forcing me to... Here, I literally had to go to the banquet hall. Come closer, Dandy Ace, if you want to know more about this next section. Well done. You've passed the first test. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Don't get too cocky. Behind me. Or we're about to get to the banquet hall. And the enemies are much harder. <laughs> or, or so I've heard. It's fine. I'll probably ace it. Get it? Cause my name is Ace. A man of multiple talents, I see. Gotta work on your comic timing, though. It's all in the delivery. Oh, I could use some delivery. Where's the food in the banquet hall? The <laughs> well, there's food, just not for you. The palace minions. They are always hungry. Be careful not to end up the main course. <laughs> okay, I gotta say, uh, the humor here is actually pretty good. Find this next area rather interesting. <laughs> okay, so like, whenever I kill someone, I'm getting an increased damage here, and I also want to be hitting my charmed enemies because I'm dealing more damage with that one upgrade I got. So that's the kind of build we're going on here. Okay. That was solid. Solid enough. You with such so my guess, my, oh geez, okay. My guess is that I take damage, or they spawn when the guy starts talking. I think that is, oh geez. I think that's how it works. I'll have to put my hypothesis to the test here though. So like, as soon as he talks. You think you're good with magic, yep. Huh? Let's see how you deal with an angry mob. Oh jeez, we blinked right into that guy. Yep, 
Yeah, that stun too is real nice. Stunning him with my mines. And we do a lot more damage to these charmed enemies. The only thing is, like, my main attack is this, like, X here. Like, the throwing the cards. And it's a little annoying having that be on a cooldown. Or, like, having, like, five charges or whatever. Oh my gosh. I did not need to take damage like that. Nobody expects a minion inquisition. Oh man. Also, could I just run away? I could just keep running back. Oh geez. So that's interesting, like the rooms are a lot I mean I know that there were certain like doors that Um you know closed, but for the most part I can like run back and stuff like that. Okay, got her. There were a lot of other people over here, I'm pretty sure. And by a lot, I mean a single non-moving <laughs> turret. I wonder, what is oh, jeez. Oh, nice. My mines did real good there. So I need to make sure when I use my charm that I have enough like auto attacks to like get a ton of the damage in. Like, do it, and then make sure I can, like, just, like, finish that enemy off. That's, that's what we gotta do. Oh, here we go, chest. Okay, Ace releases a burst of magic repelling all nearby enemies. Um, and if we use it to upgrade something, it adds push. So... Yeah, I guess we just have that do more of a push. Um, okay, so we're gonna teleport up here. No open sesame. Diamond key. No key. So yeah, I wonder where we get the keys. Also, yeah, locked room. Oh, this is this is a small. Oh, oh, okay. Use our T. Use our T. Oh, we have to hold it. Okay. So okay, that was our one potion. I didn't realize how low we actually were. Did not realize how low we were. Okay, charm them all. Okay. Okay, we gotta be a lot more careful. Did that just teleport? Oh, this room was a lot bigger than I thought it was. Okay, tier three, Titan Punch. Ace attacks with giant punches. The second punch also stuns enemies. The third punch also stuns and deals more damage. Um, each time this skill is activated, it gets stronger. So, I don't know, we have such a good build right now. I think what we do is we add vulnerability. We, we put it there so that it's going to, instead of adding push, I don't wanna push them. I wanna charm them so they walk to me, they're gonna be vulnerable. I think that's the play. Oh, I just dropped this. I mean, I guess that's fair. Okay. Ooh, some items here. Tier four. Um. Affected enemies take damage while moving. Hex is interesting. Ace dashes forward, creating an explosion. Yeah, let's get this, honestly. Let's replace it with the blink. And then let's have dimensional burst is Look it up in the rules of the ever changing palace. Yeah, I don't need to be I don't need to be faster, honestly. I mean it's nice for like out of game progression, but let's just have like a bunch of that type stuff. Oh, uh, reshuffle all the cards for gold. We used up like all all our gold there. So we're a little bit slower. Okay. Oh jeez. Yeah, I I I never I don't want to be in the middle of all of the stuff going on. So yeah, when we do our like little heart thing, like they take more damage because they're charmed and uh, because they're vulnerable because that card upgrade. So, okay, you know, I all of the builds and upgrades and stuff like that is actually kind of interesting. I will say, get out. Oh man, I was trying to be all cool, but he still attacked me. Okay. I think we're doing pretty good. 
Oh, jeez. Oh, my. Did we kill that? I think we did. Oh, my gosh. Okay, we're throwing. It's okay, though. It's okay. We're just throwing a little bit. Oh, okay. Okay, and then we... Oh, nice, cupcake. We haven't seen a cupcake in a while. Yummy cupcake. Yeah, like, we do so much damage after we do our little combo there. Okay, there's gonna be some enemies here. I know it. Get some mines down, come get me. Oh my gosh, that's so much damage there. And, like, I don't really have to worry about them, like, attacking me, I don't think. And I like that, like, there's not a mana system. They're all just on their own cooldowns. Because if you guys have watched my channel, you guys absolutely know I freaking hate cooldown systems. Especially in roguelites, like, where you're, you know, I just don't like, like, feeling bad for using my stuff. So I definitely like cooldowns way more than like mana. It's over here. Another chest, eh? Wouldn't bother with the chest. It's screaming low level loot. Ace drops explosive cards when in combat. So this is just the Is this better than our Oh, okay, this just does a lot more damage. Okay, cool. That's just a direct upgrade to what we had. You're helping me out, you know. Oh god. Oh no 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 no. No no no. Okay, let me get past you guys. Like I don't I definitely don't Like I just always want to get in where I can spawn the enemies and then like kind of get out so I can like fight them one at a time. That seems to be like the best strategy so far. Okay. Um let me see. Is there anywhere What's over here? Was this a Oh, this is a locked thing that I can't get through. So, okay. Okay. Okay, we got this. We got this. We are dandy ace pros. Doing pretty good so far here. Just waiting for my cooldowns to get back up. Oh my gosh. Ooh, nice. Okay, I'm gonna wait to get that. I don't need that right now. Oh, okay, more enemies. Yep. I shouldn't have wasted like all my cooldowns. Oh, come on. Okay. And then, boop. Like, look at all the damage when I have my full-on combo. That's insane. Okay, now we'll eat this. Oh, I didn't... Wait, what? Okay, let me get the thing. Okay, blinks forward. Nah, I don't... Well, dimensional burst. Is that a better dimensional burst? 235 damage. Oh, dimensional burst is just gonna do the same amount of damage, I guess. No matter what tier I have. Um. Okay, let's see. Was I missing anything? Can I go back here? I don't think I can. To the progression stuff. No, it's locked. Okay, yeah, well, then. Let's go here. On to the next level here. Pink cards are basic attack skills. Yellows are control and blue are movement skills. Okay, so they all kind of fall in different categories, I guess. Oh, we're going to just keep getting to... Okay, cool. Can we go home so we have 25. Now? Let's go ahead and get... We're going to get a random pink card every time now. Um, I don't know. Let, yeah, let, let's get some crescendo fireworks since we're getting random pink cards. Might as well work towards that. Um, get our T up. Have you beat the evil magician yet? Oh, we can equip How one more trinket. Oh, that's so cool. So the the further we get, we get more. Um, let's get a defensive one here. Let's get guardian angel. Um, to in case we make some stupid mistakes. So so on a killing blow, Ace remains at one HP and gains vulnerability. Effect resets when Ace kills uh, hundred enemies. I think we go for that. So we made to art gallery. I think we're gonna, yeah, so we just have to go the top path. And I'm assuming the keys are maybe like late game or, you know, out of game progression things. I'm not sure. So um, we're in the art gallery though. 
Welcome to the Dopra Museum. The Dopra Museum. Much more than an art gallery. Here you'll find very famous paintings. I love famous stuff. Which paintings can I see there? Oh, I didn't expect you to be a man. <laughs> I didn't know you're a man of culture. There is the remarkable Las Conejas. Work of art. I wonder if there's going to be you bosses here. The critically acclaimed creation of magic in all its splendor. Huh, weird. They almost sound like other famous paintings I know. You don't know these? Too bad. In this section of the palace, those who are not art connoisseurs tend to find themselves in great... But I am an art connoisseur. Like I just said he was. Okay. Much for the next part. Trust me. Come on, spawn the enemies. That's one thing I'm not... Oh, whoa, that... What is that wave? What? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, 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 game. Okay, you, you, can, you can chill out just a little bit. Just a little bit for me, game. But, um... The only thing I'm a little... Um, I do think that... It, like, I don't know. <laughs> Just spawning enemies is always a little finicky sometimes. Um, and it, it might just be I'm not the biggest fan of it because, like, me having to go in and, like, try to trigger the spawning can just be a little, um, weird, I guess. Like, I gotta go in here and then I wanna bounce back, you know what I mean? And I'm gonna just keep doing that because that's, that's, that's the play, you know what I mean? Oh, nice, a cupcake. Oh, two cupcakes. Dang, okay, I'll, t I'll eat one of them and I'll save the other. Now, I I'm glad that you can, like, go back for him and you can teleport real easily. Yeah, I need to... I I'm doing, like, no damage unless I do my specific combo here, so... That's what we need to be focusing on here. So we got that. I'm assuming we stand on those. They... yeah. Little spike traps. I see what it is. Okay, see? And then I just back out. Oh, that's the wave. Oh, I can't dash through the wave stuff. Okay. Okay. And that wave just gets bigger and bigger. That's an interesting enemy. Oh. Oh, is that... No, okay. Yeah, even my mines here aren't doing a ton of damage anymore. It's really like my main combo I got going on right now. Is, is what's shredding them. Okay. See, but I don't know, maybe, like, that's not, the oh, jeez. I don't know, I was gonna say, maybe the play is just to be super aggressive. Oh my god, these, these waves, I thought they were just permanent, I was like, are you kidding me? Okay, yeah, I gotta be careful with those, dang. My mind should kill that guy, nice. Oh, man, okay. Definitely gonna go after, um, you know what, actually, right now, let's get this, yeah. Okay, like the teleport in here. This is real smooth and instant. Liking that. All the air, I mean, so far at least, the, the areas do look similar to each other though. Oh. It's a poisonous cupcake. Oh man. But I no, I could definitely see there being so many awesome like synergies and stuff like that. I mean, I've already gotten one of them, so Oh, whoa, whoa we got a key. Access to Diamond's Gates. Oh, I can't. Oh, whoa, okay. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Why did my my controller like literally died or something right right when I got that and it spawned a bunch of enemies. I was like, "Excuse me? I don't think it died. I don't know what happened there." Okay. Oh, that looks like a good good item. Oh, jeez, even more. Okay. Oh, whoa. Is that a healing thing? Like a healing tower? Definitely gonna want... Oh, oh no. Oh, my gosh. Okay. We drank our tea. I don't want to die here. It's like a... Okay, okay. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Okay, those reaper things. Okay. Yep, okay. Charm you. There we go. Okay, are there any more? There's someone else in here. We have a lot more health there because of our T. Wow, that was close, though. Okay, blueprint. Nice. 
Passion Comet, A shoots a comet that explodes in a large area, and it charms them. Ooh, wait a minute. The charm might be better than the stun, honestly. It's a lot less damage, but we're doing a whole charm build. Upgrade effects with CC replaces the CC of the main card. Wait, upgrade effects with crowd control replace the crowd control of the main card. Oh. Oh, that's interesting. So, that means that we don't want... Yeah, we want to place it there. Wait a minute, I'm confused. So, okay, so now we have the charm comet. And it's also going to um, give them death bomb. And this is charming them, uh, giving them vulnerability. And it adds Prey Seeker to pink. Does this already have Broken Heart? What is Prey Seeker? Oh, that's the stunned enemies. Okay, we don't care about... Yeah, we're done doing stun. Unless we want stun... Actually, you know what? This is where it would be better here. Just give our, our dash more stun. So we're overall more into a charm build, but we gave our dash the uh, stun there. So we got the Diamond's Gate. Let's see what really okay, oh geez. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay, so yeah, hopefully a lot more charm. We got way more ways to do our charm. We're just now being bottlenecked. No, 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 please. We're just being bottlenecked by our um, main attack here. Was there anyone else? I don't... Oh, there was. Okay. Okay, nice. I think this is the good way to go here. What could even be in there that you I wish there were kind of like passives or something. Like more... Well, I guess there are passives, but... Um, so... Oh! A shoots a powerful arrow, Sugar Dandy. Uh, that's going to charm... No, that's that's just definitely what we want here. That is awesome. We got a major upgrade here. We can charge it up. Does that pierce? Okay, that's that's it. Ooh. I don't know. We're gonna have to see overall if how this works here. No keys for you. So we don't have the heart key, obviously. Oh geez. Okay. Oh my gosh. Get me out of here, please. Oh my gosh. It's, oh, we gotta, it's just keep getting healed. We gotta, okay, no longer healing. Okay, yeah, so we can kind of just, oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. We can one shot, except we're like almost dead here. Okay, okay, okay. Charm. This is a freaking powerful attack though, okay. Oh man, okay, okay. We got this. We're really, really, really low. Okay. Okay, just gotta, just gotta. Okay. Okay, we gotta be a little bit more careful here. Act like, oh geez. Just keep him charmed. He's not, <laughs> we can just keep stun locking him or whatever. Okay, what is this? Something we don't have access to. Oh, no, a shop, okay. Oh man, okay, stun, don't care about that. Poison, don't care about that. Haste, I don't care about any of that. Um, I don't know, let's re-roll. Um, Ace cast three, shooting stars. Oh, that, or, oh, that's slightly better tier, but we don't, um, we don't have the money for it, so. Man, I'm scared. We're at 135. Come on, drop some cupcakes. Drop some cupcakes. Okay. Oh, jeez. Okay. We can just keep charming him. Just keep charming him. This is... Oh, wait a minute. Are we still... Okay, we are still broken hearts. Okay. Okay, I think we got a good build here going. I like, I really like, I'm actually like way, um, this is not what I was expecting, like the kind of whole process to be, or like the upgrade process. It's, it's a lot more impressive than I was originally thinking. Oh, nope, get out of here. 
So you're healing everything. I killed all your people. I just do so much burst damage now. I don't even need you. And I'm glad that this pierces. But yeah, charming enemies is... I mean, charming them and then sniping them? This is such a cool build here. This is such a cool build. Okay, we did it. Oh, man. I wonder if this is going to be a boss fight. At the start of each new map, you can access the shards tent. Okay, yeah. All that stuff. So... Nice to see you're still in one piece. Gold credit. Um, oh, okay, you know what? Honestly, let's just get the being able to sell cards. I know we were real close to unlocking this thing. Uh, but who is crying? Also, oh, that heals you too as well. Oh, awesome. Me, and one more trinket. 15% um, less damage from melee attacks. 15% less damage from ranged attacks. Um, Ace gains a new T potion per map. That crying is so annoying. I'm gonna just take 15% less damage from ranged attacks here. You've made it to his atelier. How exciting. Okay, I think this is a boss fight, guys. I've made it to whose atelier? Beyond this gate lies the atelier of the master of arts himself, the famous Axolangelo. <laughs> Sounds important. Is he a famous painter around these parts? The greatest! Have you ran into the deadly art apprentices yet? Let's just say he taught them everything they know. Oh, I'd love to get an autograph. For your own sake. I like how, how like, just in a good mood. stupid my guy is. Okay. Finally, bring me the paint tubes I ordered. Sap green and yellow ochre. I think you're mistaken, Mr. Painter. Don't tell me you've mixed up my order again. Did you learn nothing in Who goes to artist assistant school? I'm not an assistant. I'm a fellow artist. You've probably heard of me. I'm the one and only. An artist? You don't look like one. Where is your brush? Your sad face. Your dirty apron. I'm a magician of the magic arts, you see. Would you like a little demonstration? If you don't have my order, you have no reason to be here. I'll kick you out of my Okay. Side. See how... Oh, that's a cool thing. Okay. So I'm assuming charm isn't going to work on bosses here. That's my hot take. Oh, jeez. Okay. We gotta stay far away here. And we are doing, like, no damage to him. Is he gonna just let me kite him this... Like this? This is gonna take forever though. Is he really just gonna let me kite him like this? Oh, there we go, there's something. Oh! Oh, here we go, here we go. Now he's doing now he's doing some quirky stuff. Oh, oh, oh jeez, that's paint on the ground. I see. Oh jeez. I'm doing no damage to him. Okay, we're about, uh, what is that, one fourth? Oh, geez. I'm missing all my shots now. What are you doing? Oh, okay, so this is, I get to determine where his paint goes. Oh, geez. Oh, man. Okay, we're almost halfway there. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Okay, let's use some tea. We're back to full HP. We got no more tea, though. Okay, you want to know what... Th this is totally like an anime thing, but I, uh, I'm a big anime nerd, as I'm sure some of you guys know. Um, and uh, there's a... Uh, a villain in uh, one of my favorite animes called uh, My Hero Academia and uh, he, he likes drinking tea that's just part of his character and um, so my character kind of reminds me of that villain a little bit because otherwise I don't really know why I'm drinking the tea I, I don't know we might have this oh geez oh we took more damage there than I wanted
Yeah, I definitely think I want to tr Oh. Okay. I'm gonna try to keep this just isolated to this kind of corner. Oh. Oh no, we took- Oh, I don't think we actually took that much damage there. Yeah, now I understand having more- better movement. Like, I- I kind of focused a little bit more on damage and stun. Oh man, I took a lot of damage there. Oh man, we're throwing. We're throwing, guys. We're throwing just a little bit. This boss fight is like a whole endurance fight, though. Come on. Oh, no. I believe. Do you guys believe? Uh, no. Did our thing trigger? Oh, there now our thing triggered for sure. The one HP defensive. We can't take any damage at all. We can't even touch the. Oh no! Oh, nope. That's it. Ah, oh, man. I'm sure I. Oh, man. Yeah. Rip. And I think that's it. I think it's going to just have us, unless we unlocked some more out of game progression stuff here. Place palace records, view statistics. Oh, that's all our statistics, progression. All the enemies. So I don't think we've actually unlocked any because we just got the same thing. Oh, no, we didn't actually unlock that, I don't think. So, I think this is probably where I will call it. Um, let me see if I can uh, back out to the to the main menu here. But I think this is a pretty good uh, stopping point overall. Uh, I'm actually very, very intrigued by Dandy Ace. Um, I'm going to be playing the game a lot more. Um, and if you guys want to see more Dandy Ace Let's Plays, uh, definitely let me know. Um, you know, leave a like down below. That's a great way to let me know, kind of know, you know, what type of Let's Plays, you know, you're wanting to see more of. Um, but this game comes out in a couple of days, uh, so definitely expect a review soon. I'm going to be playing the game for a lot more hours, making a couple more Let's Plays and stuff like that if you guys are enjoying this. Um, so definitely let me know. And uh, if you're still watching at this point, I really, really appreciate it. Uh, I, I, I enjoy making these videos so much for you guys and I'm so glad I can do it um, so thanks so much for watching and if you are going to be grinding out some games of Dandy Ace uh, when it comes out then I wish you guys luck and see you all next time